Welcome back. Oh, I'm glad you've come to the Rainforest Storytelling again. Today I want to tell you about a special project here at God's Creation Rainforest Station. I'll also share another true story from the Bible, a story about how God leads us and is always with us. Are you ready? Rainforest explorers, Jesus is with me. And you say, Jesus is with me. Jesus leads the way. Awesome. All right. Well, today I want to tell you about our tropical animal project. Part of our job here at God's Rainforest Station, Creation Station is to study rainforest animals and get a better understanding of how they live, how they find food, how they take care of their babies, protect themselves, and all kinds of things. So we put up cameras way high up in the rainforest trees. And the cameras have motion sensors that cause them to turn on when the animals pass by. And then they record videos or take pictures of the animals. The cameras are very helpful because we can't always be with the animals, but God is always with us, even when we can't see him. Wow, we saw some incredible things. We saw a cheetah up in the tree watching for its prey. I saw a sloth eating. Wow, so now we know what kinds of things they eat toucans. Oh, we got a great picture of a sloth who came down from the tree. They only do that once a week. This is incredible. Wow, we've seen things that we wouldn't see without the help of our cameras. These animals are usually pretty shy. They don't know we're watching them with cameras. They're all, they think they're all alone in the rainforest just doing their own thing. You know, those animals kind of remind me of the guys in our Bible story today. They thought they were all alone, doing their own thing, working hard to provide for their families, and making plans for how they wanted to live their lives. But somebody was watching. Can you guess who? That's right, even when we don't see him, when we feel all alone, Jesus is there. So today we're gonna tell a story and I want you to follow along. Here's, here's the picture of what we're gonna be talking about, okay? So, Jesus is walking. Can you walk with me? Jesus kept walking and soon he saw two brothers out on the water on a boat. Suddenly, he stopped. Now, these two brothers were Simon Peter and Andrew, and they were fishermen. Simon Peter and Andrew were throwing their nets. Can you throw your nets? Throwing the nets over the side of the board boat and catching fish. Pull the fish in. Oh, they were just doing their own thing, working hard. But Jesus had been watching. He knew, who, he knew who they were, and he called out to them. And he said, follow me. And you know what? I, uh, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. And they stopped. And they looked at Jesus. And immediately they dropped their nets and they jumped out of their boat and they followed Jesus. Well, Jesus kept walking and soon he saw two more brothers. Can you put up two? James and John were with their dad, Zebedee, out on the water in their boat. They were fishermen too. So get your nets out. James and John and Zebedee were working their nets and brought them in. And when they came back to the shore, they were fixing their nets. And then they heard Jesus call out to them. Say it with me. Jesus said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. 
Well, they stopped. Can you believe it? Again. And guess what? James and John jumped out of their boat, left their dad, and followed Jesus. Later, Jesus was walking through town, and he saw a man named Matthew working in his tax booth. And he was minding his own business, doing his own thing, collecting people's tax money, counting all of the money, writing out receipts. But Jesus was watching. He knew Matthew and he said to him, come follow me. I bet you can guess what happened next. Matthew got up and he followed Jesus. All those men left their work and their plans as soon as Jesus called them. Their lives changed very quickly. Jesus knew them and he knew they were, weren't all perfect people. They were sinful. They had made bad choices sometimes, just like we do. But Jesus wants everyone to follow him. Jesus taught those men who became his disciples about God the Father, his directions for living, and his love. Jesus wanted them to follow him and to share with others about the love of God the Father. Rainforest explorers, Jesus is with me. And you say, Jesus is with me. Jesus leads the way. Wow, that was a fun story, wasn't it? Would you jump out of the boat and follow Jesus? <laughs> I would. Let's end our day with a prayer. Will you all fold your hands and bow your heads? Jesus, thank you for always being with us. Forgive us for the times we sin or live life the way we want to instead of the way you have called us to. Please help us to be kind and loving. Help us to be fishers of men and to share your love with others. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for coming by today. I'll see you tomorrow.